Hello everyone. Today in this video I am going to step by step guide you on how to install Java JTK 18 with Java Home on a Windows 11. First of all, open your favorite browser and search for Java JTK download. And the first link which will appear. So just click on this link. I am going to provide this link in the description of this video. Also you can directly come to this website. At the time of making this video, Java 18 is the latest version which is available for download. So when you scroll down you will see the option to download the Linux binaries, or the Mac OS binaries, or the Windows binaries. Right so we are going to select Windows from here. And then we are going to select the Easy option here. So just select the link which is in front of the installer option. Here click on this link here. So just wait for the download to complete. And once this Z file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this Z file. And now I can see the Java JTK installer has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. So here you just need to click on the next button. And this will be the default location where Java will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. Just remember this location by default it's installed in C, then program files. Then it's going to create a Java directory and program files folder and then there will be a JTK18 folder or the name of the folder will be the version of JTK you are installing. If you want to change this path, just click on change. And then change the destination. Otherwise if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default. And then click on next which is going to start the installation of Java on your Windows 11 operating system. At this point you just need to wait for this process to complete, and in few seconds you can see the Java JDK has been installed on my Windows 11 operating system. So I am going to close this window that means Java is installed on my Windows 11 operating system, but still I have to do a few things. First of all, I'm going to just go to the location where Java is installed. So just open your folder explorer, and then go to the C directory. And then I'm going to go to the program files where Java folder is created. And then in my case JDK18.0.1 is created in your case. This folder name version can be different. So just go to this folder right. Now in order to set the environment variable for Java what you need to do click on the search icon. Once again and then just type edit environment. And here which is going to show you this result which is edit environment variable for your account. And it's going to open this kind of window. You can also open this edit environment variable using control panel. So open control panel and then just view by category here. And then click on system and security. Then click on system. Once the system window opens, you can click on advanced system settings. And then click on environment variables which is also going to show you the same window right. Once this is open, you need to click on the path environment variable under system variables. And then click on edit. And here you need to add the path to your JDK folder binary. So go to the folder where we have installed Java until JDK folder. And then click on bin folder. So we need to go inside the bin folder inside this JDK folder. And then copy the path right until bin. And then copy this path from here. Go to the environment variable window once again, and then you can double click here. Or you can click on new, which is also going to show you this option. And then just paste this path until bin, and then press enter which is going to add this path to your environment variables. Click on OK so your Java environment variable is set now. Some application also needs the Java home environment variable on your Windows operating system. To run them so let me show you how you can set the Java home environment variable. Also so you can go at the top under user variable section, and then click on new here. And then the variable name, you need to provide here is Java underscore home, everything is capital. And the variable value will be the folder which we have opened which is JDK folder. So don't go inside the bin folder. In this case, just copy the path until JTK folder. And then just paste this path under variable values. 
So you can see there's no bin folder added here only the path until the JTK folder. Click on OK. And then click on OK. And then click on OK which is going to set the environment variable for Java on your Windows 11 operating system. Now once you have installed Java and set the environment variables, you can use Java on command line. So you can just open the command prompt by typing cmd once again. And then I can type java space hyphen version here. And it's going to show me the version of Java so you can see Java version. 